everyone ready for class? Yes. Yes. Okay, so welcome to class everyone. Today is March 23rd. It is Monday. Okay. So let's start by remembering what we did last week in class on Friday. What did we do on Friday? Which story did we read? It's funny. Hello, funny. Hello, Miss Claire. Hello. What was the name of the story that we read last time? It says the hares and the frogs. Good. The hares and the frogs. Do you remember? Yes. Good. Okay. And we also did some story maps. This is what I asked you to do for homework, a story map. So who completed the homework? Let's check. Funny, I have your homework. Well done. Moon, Milk, Sam, Taylor, Dukoi, and Banana. Well done. I got all of your homeworks. Well done. Okay, so who can help me to finish this one? This is about the story, the hares and the frogs. So let's see. Let me ask Rosie. Hello, Rosie. Hello. So what was the title of this book? The, the hare and the frog. Good. The hares and the frogs. Well done. The hares and the frogs. Okay. Sam, who are the characters in this story? The hare and the frog. Good. Is there anyone else? Nobody else, Sam? No. No. Okay, good job. I see Dukoi has his hand up. Hello, Dukoi. Hello, how are you? I am fine. Good, okay. Do what? you know uh, the setting of this story? Uh, in the book. In the book, well done. Good job. Write it in the book. Well done. Okay, and who is that? Okay, and what happened at the beginning of the story? Who can tell me what happened in the beginning? Ray. Hello, Ray. Hello. Hello. So, what happened uh, in the beginning of this story? The hair, the three hairs are sad. Good. Anything else? Three hairs are sad. Anything else, Ray? Okay, let's ask someone else. Let's see, George, what did you do for your homework? George, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah? Did you put anything for middle? Mm, I didn't do homework. I didn't do it. Okay, that's fine. Let me check someone who did the homework. Okay, let me ask Luli. Hello, Luli. Hello. Did you do the homework? Yes. Yeah, okay. Read to me what you put for beginning. Okay. Stood in the grass. Good, okay. Three hairs are in the grass, and then? It is sad to be a Hey. Good, okay. And then what? This is good to be a hare. It is good to be a hare? Is that in the middle or in the end? In the end. Ah, okay. It is good to be a hare. So what happened in the middle? The hay. Do you know, Lily? What happened in the middle? Not sure? Yeah. That's okay, don't worry. <gasps> okay, who else did the homework? Let me check. I see. Uh, Sam, did you do the homework? Yes, you did. Hello, Sam. Hello, Mr. Sky. Hello, I what did you homework. Good job. What did you write in middle? The hare scared the frog. Good, well done. The hare scared the 
frogs. Well done. And did you put anything else? No. Nope. What did you put in the end? The end, the hair are happy. Good. It is good to be the a hair. hair. And the hairs are happy. And who is scared at the end? The frog. Good. The frogs are scared. The frogs. Good, Sam. Well done. Okay. So hopefully everyone did something like this and completed the story map. Okay. Okay. Well done. So next today, we are going to learn about Finding Nemo. Who watched the movie already called Finding Nemo? Put your hand up if you watched it. Good. Okay, George, did you watch the movie? Yes. Yeah, did you like it? Yes. Yeah, very good. How about... Let me see who else is here. Uh, Puppy, did you watch the movie? No. No, not yet? Okay, you can watch it later, Puppy. How about Rosie? Did you watch the movie? No. Not yet? Okay, you have to watch it tonight, okay? Or watch part one tonight. Uh, let's see. Blue Moon, are you there? Hello, Blue Moon. Hello. Hello. Did you watch the movie Finding Nemo? Yes. Yeah, you did? Okay. You watched all of it? Yes. Good job. Okay. So we're going to talk about the movie Finding Nemo. Okay. So if you haven't watched it already, then let's watch a little part just now. Okay. So make sure your speaker is turned up so that you can hear. Okay, are you ready? All right, Dory. Let's go over this one more time. We know your memory's not the best. Yep, can't remember diddly. I know. Can't remember squat. That's right. Diddly squat. Diddly squat. Now, up, Dory, come over here. Now listen to me. You need to ask for directions. Uh, directions? You gotta be low key. Low key. Because fish in this part of the reef, very skittish. Skittish. Right? Got that? Uh-huh. You're sure? Yeah. You don't remember a word, do you? No. Nope. Nothing in my noggin. Okay. Here's a brand new idea. You stay right here, swim in a little circle, forget to yourself. I'll be right back. I'm going to ask for directions. Okay, so this was a little tiny bit of the movie Finding Nemo. Okay, so it says, today we will learn about the characters, the setting, and the plot of the movie. Okay, so let's remember what these words mean. So, the characters. What does the word characters mean? What does characters mean? Susu. Character means the people and animals in the story. Excellent. Well done. The people or animals in a story. Very good, Susu. Okay. How about the setting? 
What does setting mean, hai na? What? What does setting mean? Don't remember, hai na? Look, look on the board. A story, a story where and when the story takes place. Good. Where and when the story takes place. Okay, very good. For example, in the, the story we read on Friday, the setting was in the brook. Remember? So, this is setting. How about plot? What does the word plot mean? Plot. Let's see, Cherry. Yes. What does plot mean? Plot. It says on the board, can you see it? It says events in a story. Good. Events in a story. It tells me what? It tells me the beginning, the middle, and the end. Can you read this one, Cherry? Where? Beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. It's okay. Maybe you cannot see it. It's okay. So everyone listen. The plot is the event in a story. It tells me the beginning, what happened in the middle, and what happened in the end. Okay. So let's get ready and we'll learn some facts about the movie. So very easy question to start. What's the name of the movie? Milk. Milk, what's the name of the movie? Can you hear me? I forgot. You forgot? Okay, look on the, look on the board. What does it say? Finding, finding Nemo. Let me hear you. Finding Nemo. Good, Finding Nemo. Okay, and Finding Nemo was made in 2003. So this movie was made 17 years ago. This is 2020 and this movie was made in 2003. Okay, so next one. Where is the movie set? Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Miss Claire. Okay, do you know where the movie is set? Is it in a beach? Is it in a park? Is it in the ocean? What do you think? In the ocean. In the ocean? Okay, let's see. Let's see what it says. It says, Finding Nemo is set in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Well done. The Great Barrier Reef, everyone, is a part of the ocean in Australia. Okay? It's a very beautiful part of the ocean in Australia. It has lots of flowers and lots of plants, lots of fish, lots of corals. Okay? And do you know where Australia is? Uh, Ray? You in Australia. Have a look here. Can you see Australia on the map? Uh, where is it? It's here. Can you see it? Everyone, this one is Australia. It's down the very bottom. So this is where Finding Nemo is set. This is where it is. Okay, very good. Okay, next one. So the director of this movie, director means the person who made the movie, is called Andrew Statton. And the genre, remember genre means type of movie, is animation, comedy, family film, and adventure, okay? So it's a funny film and it's an animation. So who are the main characters? in this movie who is number one pasta do you have a question do you have a question no no can you please stop writing in the chat box okay thank you okay so who is this who can help me maybe dukhoi knows hello dukhoi hello Bishai. do you know the name of this character uh no. No? Okay, read it for me. It's on the screen now. Marley. Marlin. Good job. Let me hear Marlin. Marlin. 
Good. This one is Marlin. Okay. And the next one. Oops. I showed you the answer. Okay. Taylor. Hello, Taylor. Hello. Who is this? I don't know. Not sure. Okay. Let me see. I show you here. What does it say? Nemo. Nemo. Very good. This one is Nemo. Did you watch the movie, Taylor? No. Not yet? Are you going to watch it tonight? Yes. Yeah. You can watch part one tonight, okay? It's not too long. Okay. So this one is Nemo. So we have Marlin and we have Nemo. Now, how are these two characters connected? How are they connected? Who knows the answer? Let me see. Maybe George knows. Hello, George. They look like each other. They look like each other. And are they friends? Mm, no. No, yes. what? No, 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 no. You don't know? So Marlin is the father and Nemo is the son. Okay, so that's Nemo's dad. Marlin is Nemo's dad. Okay, George? Yes. Yeah? Sit up so I can see you, George. Okay, and what kind of fish are they? Who knows the type of fish? They are, let me ask, who knows? Maybe Sam knows? Hello, Sam. Hey. Hello, Miss Sky. What kind of fish are they? I have a family name that is striped fish. Oh, striped fish, that's a good answer. But they have another name. I'll put it here, maybe you can read it for me, Sam. Clownfish. Yeah, they're called clownfish, okay? But you're right, they're also stripey. They have white stripes, yeah? White and orange stripes. <laughs> they have white and orange stripes. Good job, Sam. Well done. And they are called clownfish, okay? Pasta, I'm going to turn your chat off if you cannot behave. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. If you want to write something in the chat, you can, but it has to be a question for me. Okay? Okay, so they are called clown fish. Who is the next one? What is the name of this character? Who knows the answer? Who knows the name of this character? Maybe... Banana, do you know the name of this character? No. No? Okay, read it for me. It's on the screen. Dory. Dory. Let me hear you. Dory. 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 Good job. Okay. And the next one. Who knows the name of this one? Maybe Ray knows this one. Fish. What's it called? Yes, sir. What's the name of this character? Um, I don't know. Are you not sure? It's like your name. Look. Can you read it? Mr. Ray. <laughs> Mr. Ray. It's called Mr. Ray. And what kind of fish is he, Ray? A stingray. He's a stingray. Well done. I'll write it here for everyone. Um, he is a stingray. Very good. And do you know what his character is in the, in the movie? No. No? He is the teacher. Okay. So he is the teacher in the movie. And you can see some of his students on his back here. Yeah, he has some students here. Maybe he's taking them to school. So he is a stingray and he is the teacher. Everyone remember because I'm going to ask you later, okay? Okay, so this character is called Darla. Everyone say Darla. This character is called Crush. He is a sea turtle. Okay, I'll write it for you here. He is a sea turtle. Crush. And the next one is Squirt. And he is also a sea turtle, but he, he is the baby square turtle. Okay, he is the baby square turtle.
squirt. Okay, so let's have a look and see the main event of the movie. So what happens in the movie? Let's look at the plot. Okay. So I'm going to put up what happens first and I want you to help me choose the correct answer. So who can help me choose the correct answer? Let me ask. Uh, Luli, are you ready? Are you listening? Yeah? yeah? So what does it say in the beginning? The movie with his movie in the beach. In the beach, are you sure? Yeah, Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, he lives in the Great Barrier Reef. Okay, let's see if you're right. Yay! He lives in the Great Barrier Reef. Remember, this is a very beautiful part of the ocean in Australia, okay? It looks like this here. Can everyone see all of the plants and all of the beautiful flowers in the ocean? This is how the Great Barrier Reef looks, okay? Okay, so in the beginning, Nemo lives with his dad, Marlin, in the Great Barrier Reef. Number two, Hainan? What? Number two, can you read this one? Next one, Nemo. When Nemo Go goes mm -hmm. to school, he show off and what do you say? Swim. 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 Okay. Into? Swim. The ocean. Be. By? I. By himself. Okay, let's see if you're right. Next, he shows off and swims into the ocean by himself. Well done. Do you think that Nemo should swim by himself into the ocean, Haina? No. No, why not? Because he, he, he must, he are in the school. Yeah, very good. Because he's in school and because he's too small to be swimming by himself. So what might happen if he goes away by himself? Maybe he's going to get lost. Okay, number three, Taylor. Hello, Miss Claire. Hello, number three. Can you read, please? Then Mara goes to look for his son. Okay, good. Continue. He tried to. He try a long way through the ocean and has many adventures. Adventures. Good, well done. So the correct answer is what? A, B or C? B. B, well done. So Marlin looks for his son. His son is Nemo and Nemo has gone missing because he went swimming by himself. Okay, next one, number three. Okay, number three, Puppy, are you ready? Hello, Puppy. Hello. Hello, okay, number four. In the end, Nemo's friends in the fish tank help him escape and he is reunited with his dad in the ocean near what? A, B, or C? They are near Sydney? near Paris or near Singapore? I don't know. You're not sure? That's okay. Let me ask someone else. Who thinks they know the answer? Maybe, maybe Dukhoi, do you know the answer? No. No, not sure? Okay, remember I told you at the start where they are. Are they near Sydney? Are they near Paris or are they near Singapore? How about Pasa? Um, Sydney. Sydney, let's check. Yeah, well done, Sydney. And Sydney is in Australia. Do you remember? 
Okay, so Sydney, well done everyone. So Nemo goes missing and his dad goes in the ocean and looks for him for a long time. He tries to find him, okay? Okay, let's pause just now and we will play a game, okay? Are you ready for a game? Okay, is everyone ready? <laughs> okay, Puppy said Luli is going to her house to watch Finding, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Very good. You can watch it together and then tell me about it tomorrow, okay? Okay, if you want to be first in the game, then write me a message now and say first. And I will choose you to do number one. Okay, let's see who is going to be first. First one to write me a message can go first. Okay. Who is number one? Nobody has wrote me yet. Try to write me now if you want to go first. Okay, who do we have? Good, okay, Ray is number one. Okay, let's go Ray. Where are you? Hello, can you hear me? I can. Yeah. Okay, let's go number one. So the music teacher was what? The music teacher is a fish, an octopus, a turtle, or an anemone. A fish. A fish. Let's see. Uh oh, the music teacher wants an octopus. Sorry, Ray. Next time. Okay, Nemo love. Let's see who was next. We have Cherry next. Hello, Cherry. Hello, Miss Claire. Okay, so Nemo loved his classmates, school, his teachers, or all of them. All of them. All of them. Let's see. Yay! Well done. Nemo loves all of them. He loves school, he loves his classmates, and he loves his friends. Okay, number three, who was next? Susu is next. Susu, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Dory finds it difficult to do what? Remember things. Remember things. Let's see if you're right to do. Yay! Well done! Dory finds it difficult to remember things. She's always forgetting everything that they tell her. She doesn't remember anything. Okay, number four. Who would like to go next? No one else has said me, so I will choose someone. A banana. Are you ready? Okay, Mr. Ray was what? A new teacher? Everyone's favorite teacher? Number four. Number four? The oldest teacher? Are you sure? Number four. <gasps> number four? No. no. Not number four. Uh, a new teacher. A new teacher? Okay, we'll do it later, okay? Well done. Where is Finding Nemo set? Where is it set? Uh, let's check with Funny. Hello, Funny. Okay, where is Finding Nemo set? In the Great Barrier Reef. Let's see. Yay, well done. In the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Good job. Okay, next one. Let's see who's going to be next. How about Taylor? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, number six. Why couldn't Nemo go to school the next day? Because his dad was busy, because it was Saturday, because he had a lot of homework, or because he was sick. I'm not sure. You're not sure? That's okay. I will help you. I will tell you it's not number one and it's not number three. So you can guess. 
Dancing number two. Number two, because it was Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Well done. So Nemo liked school a lot, and he wanted to go again the next day, but it was Saturday, so he could not go. Okay, well done, Taylor. Number seven. Uh, hi, Nam, are you ready? Hi, Nam, are you ready? Yes. Okay. When Nemo was swimming home, he said he what? Number two. Number two. Yeah, he wants to go to school the next day. Very good. Good job, Hena. Okay, next one. Let's see who's ready. How about Rosie? Hello, Rosie. Hello. So it says Nemo brought his friend. Sorry, Nemo brought his something friends to class. Who are his friends? A shark, a turtle, a fish, or starfish? Fish. Fish? Fish. Are you sure? Let's see. It wasn't fish, it was his shark. Okay, so Nemo had some friends who are sharks and he brought them to school. I see Banana has her hand up. Hello, Banana. Hello, Miss Claire. Okay, next one, number nine. Dory taught the class how to speak what? Um, turtle. Not turtle. Try again. Shark. Nope. Let's see. Tell me one more answer. Will. Will. Yes. Okay, Dory taught the class how to speak whale, how to sound like a whale. Okay, last one. Marlin is Nemo's what? Marlin is Nemo's Sam. Marlin is Nemo's dad. Nemo's dad, number two. Mm. Yeah, good job, Sam. Well done. Wrong. Let's see. We can attempt this one and see what we got wrong. It says, Oops, Nemo brought his what friends to class? Nemo brought his George? The shark friend to class. Good. He had friends who are sharks. He brought them to class. Well done. Okay, everyone did very well. Very good. Okay, so let's go back here and see what your homework is. So you are going to get a movie study booklet. Okay, your mom and dad will give it to you tonight. And there are lots and lots of activities in this booklet that we will use over the next few days. The first page you will do tonight is this one. It says, color the picture of Marlin and Nemo. So you will color Marlin and you will color Nemo. Blue Moon, can you sit up and look at the screen, please? Thank you. Make sure you know what your homework is, okay? So this is number one. The next page of your homework is this one. It says, who is Nemo? So you should find Nemo, put a circle, and then you can color, okay? And then number three, what is the setting of the movie? Let's see if you remember this one. Who remembers this one? Uh, Sophia. Do you remember? In the sea. In the sea, very good. Okay, so it means that you can Color and circle. Color the Good. You can color. Color and circle. Color and circle. Good job. 
Okay, so you have three worksheets to do for homework. Okay? Good. In the C, Puppy, well done. Okay, so I want to remind everyone that you have to watch the movie Finding Nemo, okay? There are five parts to the movie. Your mom and dad should have it already, okay? Milk, did you watch the movie already? Hello, Milk. Hello. Hello, did you watch the movie? Yeah, good job, well done, okay. So, everyone make sure you watch at least part one today, and then we will do more, we will do another lesson on this movie tomorrow, okay? So well done everyone, you did very well today, and I will see your homework tomorrow, okay? Okay, well done, bye bye everyone. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.